my girlfriends. Got a boyfriend funny. He doesn't make it Hi, we're Rock to the Moon, and we're chatting with live music to you. Friends make money. What more can I say? It's true. So guys, um, you're about one week into this tour with the All American Rejects so far. How's the tour for you guys so far? It's been great. Um, every show has been a lot of fun. Meeting a lot of new fans, and, um, a lot of which are really cool and nice and fun. And uh, we've been fans of All American Rejects for a while now, so it's cool to watch them and hang out. Watch them every night. Good band to learn from. Yeah, yeah. doing it a while, doing what they do really well. Well, like, just like how you said that, they've been around for a while, um, just over 10 years. Yeah. Um, I know it's still early, but have they got have they taught you guys anything about touring, being a band, or even writing, like for those musicians? Mm -hmm. Not so much no. the writing and stuff. I think they just kind of it's one of those things like the lead by example thing. You just watch their set every night and see how they do things, you know. And they they uh, they run a really tight ship, and Tyson is a really great frontman. You know, he really works with the crowd. And, it's just really fun to watch. It's true. The moment he laid eyes on you, he knew. Being support on a tour, one of your main goals is to get new fans, I think. Do you feel that's been happening at all these shows so far? Do you see that? Yeah, it's cool. We all, we all go out to the Mercy Table afterwards, and even during their set, we'll go out and watch them. And we want to introduce ourselves to people, people want to introduce themselves to us, and we're getting a lot of good feedback, so it's cool. Yeah, it's, it's probably been one of the like, more recent tours that's been really, uh, I guess, receptive from new fans and stuff. Everybody's been really nice and telling us that. Yeah, because you are similar in some ways, but I find they're more of a poppier rock band, and you guys have that southern style to you, so you never know sometimes if that's going to yeah. feed off of yeah, we never know what people are going to like, but I think they're going to make sense. Yeah. A lot of old fans still coming out too. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. boring. See some old faces. Baby, maybe I'm the wrong you like. Maybe I'm the I hear this, I see this a lot, especially in more of the pop rock genre, that do you find as musicians sometimes your music and the lyrics are overlooked by fans by like, who are more focused on your looks and your attractiveness? Yeah. Sometimes? Um, I'd, I'd say yes and no, but I mean, I think, like, fortunately for us, our fans um, kind of relate themselves to our lyrics a lot. And, you know, I feel like a lot of the time I'll talk to fans that say a certain songs mean a lot to them because of what they're about. So I think, yeah, you know, there's, there's times where, you know, they like the image more than the music, but I think we're in a pretty decent spot with some of the songs that we have, but, you know, I've definitely talk to a lot more kids that like our songs than just the way we listen. Yeah, the band, I think, has grown away from that world since I joined the band three years ago. Uh, and I definitely noticed that as well. It's become more and more attached to the subject matter. I think with the new record that we're about to put out this summer, it's going to be an even bigger step toward that because the songs are even more personal and relatable. I think people will definitely attach themselves to that. Have you seen any uh, Rock to the Moon lyric tattoos ever? Yeah, yeah there's yeah. a lot. A lot That's of uh, cool. the love is on your side tattoos. That's all we're doing today, actually. Oh, it's been a lot of fun. Very flattering. Yeah, like, how do you guys feel when you see that on somebody's like arm or leg or chest even? That's like, cool. It's 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 Okay. Yeah. Um, so you guys have been around for a while. I remember seeing you myself in 2009 on the AP tour. Do you feel that at this point in your career, you oh. more the live side? Have you developed more and toned or tuned your live performance? I hope so. Yeah. I'm yeah. yeah. oh, sorry. I, was say, I think like musically, yeah, we we've got. Better over time, you know. We've gotten used to the songs that we've been playing for three years. Um, I think we just kind of now we just kind of put ourselves on stage. We don't feel like we have to try as hard as we did when we were first starting out. Now I think people like to see us as who we are. You know, I think it's it's kind of cool to give them like a show, but not be some fake on stage. Because you know? then when they meet us afterwards, they're like you're the same person. You know that we were just dancing around on stage, you're the same person. 
we got more comfortable being ourselves, like I said. So we're not like big, bubbly people. So us making it on stage is very good. It's, it's nice just to be up there and have fun and comfortable with the uh, playing a, a new song going yeah. out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, off your new so coming sophomore release. Mm -hmm. uh, how's the reaction been from the fans so far about that song? Good. Yeah, good. Um, yeah it's a it's actually one of the more energetic songs in the set and it seems like you know some some kids have like put in the lyrics just from videos on YouTube but you know that's like four kids in the crowd and everybody is new to them and they're dancing and clapping and it's funny seeing people cool. sing along to it. That yeah. Like, you never heard this song. Yeah. yeah. Some people fake the sing along. Yeah, yeah. So that's really nice. That's, that's one of my favorite things. things. It's cool though, it's a good piece. Um, could you maybe tell like, your fans already what the song maybe is about and a little more about that song? It's pretty much contained in the title, I would say. It's, it's, it's going about out. going out and having a good time with your friends. Yeah, we've yeah. never really written like the going out, party getting song. drunk party song, you know? And, I think it was something we kind of thought would be cool to write, but didn't want to do it in like a cheesy way. Yeah. I think we kind of did it in a cool way. Kind of did it in our way. Yeah, you just listen to it, it makes you want to go out with your friends and everything. So you guys just finished uh, the new album. How was it this time going back into the studio? What was it? How did it feel different this time? It felt so good. Yeah, but, um, good three years in the making, so. Yeah, it was nice. I was, I was there this time. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't there last time, so that was a big change. It was cool because we did it differently. We kind of did, you know, it in a more live way. Like all of us, you know, kind of did it at the same time and then put stuff on top of it. So that was like a really fun way to do it. it really made it seem like it was an actual band playing together, you know. Not perfect. We did it in Nashville yeah. instead of Los Angeles this time too. Yeah, which was a yeah lot Nashville's cool. becoming a pretty big mecca for music yeah. I yeah. find these days. It's a really good vibe there. Yeah. It's old Dakota. I know our love is new. I barely know. I know I've heard the summer of the releases. Any more info in terms of album titles, uh, how it's going to sound, or anything? I think we're still kind of in the early stages of getting all that stuff together. You know, hopefully, in the next couple of months, month or two, or whatever, we'll have more info on it. But as far as the right sound, now, yeah. it's kind of like going out was a good medium of. Our old stuff and our new stuff, that's like a good transition of songs, so it's all along those lines. Would you say it's, because um, one of the bands a lot of people compare you to is the main, would you say it became more southern feel or more pop feel? Uh, it's got both, I would say. Yeah, it's got both. It's like an objective guy that wasn't on the first record. I mean, it's, it's really, really eclectic. There are, like, we took, I mean, we've been known to have, you know, ballad songs, which a lot of bands from where we come from don't necessarily do, and I think we like took that to the next level and did that way better. We embraced the country stuff that we wanted to experiment with and took that to the next level, and then we have a couple songs that are just straight up big fun pop songs. I think it's all over the place, but not in a way that you listen to it and you're like, this is a bunch of different bands. It just kind of it just kind of works. You know, we just explored all the influences that we all enjoy and tried to make the most diverse record possible. I think I think we did it. We did a good job. So hopefully people feel that way. Um, the way the industry is right now, it's it's really generic and really whatever sells. Did you feel going into the studio and making this record that you had to get something that sold and charted really well? It's always in the back of your mind. Yeah, we've always had the pressure of, of, you know, and it's not even just the label doing that, that's not the line to do it. Obviously, we want, like, a successful record, you know, we want to hear our songs on the radio, and, you know, so we definitely had, what went, in, went into the writing process and the recording process of doing, having that in our you know, we wanted to have a song on the radio, which did really well, so. Being a full-time band and an artist for a living, you have to make compromises between your artistic sensibilities and your business sensibilities and if you can meet in the middle and find a happy medium then great yeah i think we were able to do that we definitely weren't in there like oh, i guess we'll put this on the record because it'll probably go on the radio like we're fired up about everything on the record and hopefully it works we did our best at it and uh the final question a little more laid back uh What's one song or one band on your uh, iPod right now that your fans wouldn't expect you guys to listen to? There's not. a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, um, definitely. I've been listening to uh, Every Time I Die a lot lately. It's one of my favorite bands, and they just put out a new record. I'm pretty much 
pretty out there with like letting people know what I listen to on my Twitter yeah. or whatever. Like, yeah. I'm no shame, I'm gonna send a pro grade jump center or anything like that. And the kids that follow me on Twitter know that I listen to that stuff too. So. Like Jesse J. Domino is like an amazing singer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I listen to a lot of hip hop, probably the whole thing. Ah, that's I guess. I've uh, been listening to this band, Trial like, a lot. And it's really, really great. It's the main dude in the band plays the harp, which I think is really cool and interesting. It's kind of like, it's kind of along the lines of the Bone Bear vibe. It's kind of mellow, but there's a slightly more present electronic vibe to it, but really a the real vocals. And like, it's just great. I would highly recommend checking that out. I'd probably say every time I die, it's just because it's heavier. Yeah, that's what you find sometimes. Especially I found like kids never think like certain bands hang out to yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, those are like the best friends. Yeah, it's exactly. funny how that works. I mean, we, we have really broad musical tastes and we listen to some really heavy nice stuff. Yeah, country and pop. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Okay, well, I want to thank you guys for spending some time with us today and uh, thank you. Have a good show tonight and enjoy the rest of the tour. Thank, thank you so much for letting us see.